The Stonecutter Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a humble stonecutter. Every day, he went to the mountains to cut stones and shape them into building materials. Although his job was hard and his life simple, he was content with his work. One day, while cutting stones, he saw a wealthy merchant passing by. The merchant was surrounded by servants and carried by an elaborate sedan chair. The stonecutter envied the merchant's power and wealth and wished to be like him. To his surprise, his wish was granted, and he became a powerful merchant. As a merchant, he experienced wealth and respect. However, he soon grew tired of the demanding life and constant pressure from rivals. One day, he saw a powerful prince being carried in a golden palanquin, surrounded by soldiers. He wished to be a prince, and his wish was granted. As a prince, he enjoyed great power and luxury. But his happiness did not last long. One hot summer day, he felt oppressed by the scorching sun. He realized that the sun was more powerful than he was, so he wished to be the sun. As the sun, he scorched the fields and forests with his intense heat. But soon, he found himself blocked by a dark, thick cloud. He realized that the cloud was more powerful than the sun and wished to be a cloud. As a cloud, he blocked the sun and caused heavy rain, flooding the fields and villages. But then, he felt himself being pushed by a strong wind. He realized that the wind was more powerful than the cloud and wished to be the wind. As the wind, he blew across the land, uprooting trees and demolishing houses. However, he encountered a huge, immovable rock. No matter how hard he blew, the rock remained unshaken, he realized that the rock was more powerful than the wind and wished to be the rock. As the rock, he stood strong and immovable against the wind and rain. But one day, he felt a sharp pain. He looked down and saw a humble stonecutter chipping away at his surface. He realized that the stonecutter, with his skill and perseverance, was more powerful than any force of nature. At that moment, he wished to be himself again, a humble stonecutter. His wish was granted, and he returned to his simple life, content and grateful. He had learned that true power and happiness come from within and that he already possessed everything he needed to be happy. This story teaches us that true happiness and contentment come from appreciating and embracing who we are, rather than constantly wishing to be something or someone else. Each of us has our own unique strengths and contributions to make in the world. Thanks for listening to Podcast Stories. Don't forget to subscribe to get more updates.